Tonight, Senator Johnny Isaacson demanding to know why a man was found covered in ants in a VA nursing home. He later died. Good evening. I'm Justin Wilfon. In tonight for Justin Farmer. I'm Jovita Moore. We broke this story on Channel 2 Action News at 6 this week. It is now getting national attention. Channel 2's investigative reporter Aaron Diamond live in DeKalb County. Aaron, the man's daughter says her father's case should lead to some changes. And Jovita, we're already starting to see some of that change, including uh, more inspections after that horrific discovery here at the Eagle's Nest nursing home right next to the VA hospital. Now Georgia Senator Johnny Isaacson is demanding answers from the VA's top brass in Washington. You know, my dad's pain, my dad's agony, my dad's experience in the last week of his life will never leave me. But now Laquana Ross has reason for hope. My hope is that this creates a wave. You know, it creates a wave in the universe that affects a lot. Ross first so called us on Wednesday, go. frustrated because leaders at the Atlanta VA Medical Center didn't immediately contact her when staffers found her father, Vietnam veteran Joe Marable, who was receiving end of life care at this VA run nursing home, covered with more than a hundred swollen. And red bites from ants that filled his room twice. Marable died just days later. And I can appreciate um, WSB TV giving me the opportunity to be able to share the story. Since our story broke, dozens of national network, cable, and print news outlets have picked up the story, including ABC, Fox News, and the Washington Post. By Thursday, Georgia Senator Johnny Isaacson, chairman of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, issued a fiery statement saying, I am shocked, horrified, and downright maddened by the news that the veteran under the care of the VA was treated so poorly and without any regard for his well-being. Ross told us Isaacson then called her directly with a promise to hold the agency accountable. So I really had a chance to convey why this was important to me. And while Atlanta VA leaders have expressed remorse and offered Ross an apology. Having this type of exposure with a story of this magnitude, the goal is, you know, not to seek attention and not to be something more grand than I am, but to really highlight an issue and something that happened and hope that change really will take place so that it can improve the lives of others. Now, within the last few hours, a VA spokesperson in Washington told us the agency has launched an investigation into what happened and the events leading up to it. She said this kind of care will not be tolerated. We'll continue to track the fallout. We're live in DeKalb County, Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News.